Hey viewers, if you want your stories, experiences of infidelity, breakup, cheating, to be narrated and get featured to others in our Mr. Cool's Planet community, feel free to submit your stories to the mail given in description. By the way, please don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel. Let's go! Hello and welcome to Mr. Cool's Planet, where we share stories of love, heartbreak, and everything in between. Our goal is to create a safe and supportive space where we can explore the complexities of relationships and learn from each other's experiences. Thank you for joining us and let's get started. Story 1. I am 30 found out my wife F27 has been having an affair for at least two months on Valentine's Day. She has been acting different for a while now, skittish, attached to her phone, long gaps between the time she leaves work and the time she gets home. I had a feeling, but she would gaslight me anytime I questioned something strange is by saying that, I was acting like she was up to something and it makes her feel bad. I would then write it off to my overthinking and push forward. This will be over soon I tell myself. She graduates respiratory therapy school in April, I saw this as the finish line to the weird behavior and attitude. Fast forward to Valentine's Day. I treated her to shopping spree and dinner, work has been going very well lately so I've found a new hobby in spoiling her with clothes and shoes. Once we get home I give her a full body massage and she falls asleep. As I was preparing to go to bed, I have the sudden urge to go through her phone. And on Instagram I find that she has been emotionally and sexually involved with a co-worker. In the hospital and in the hospital parking garage. He has been trying to cut it off. She has been chasing him. Telling him that she misses him. It shattered me, she was speaking to him like she used to speak to me. Using my nicknames my means. She said they only had penstrischen sex once and it lasted one minute, because it was in a closet and they got nervous. Other times it was other actions. We have been married for one and half a year. Part of me wants to ruin her. Report her to her job have her fired and kicked out of her RT program. Other part of me wants to try to understand and fix it. I love her so much and have centered my everything around her. But I can't stop thinking about it the messages, the lies, visualizing her getting railed out in a closet. I need guidance. Is being so early in our marriage a sign that she never loved me? Or those that mean that there is plenty of life left to figure this out? Dude. I would like to say. She had no problem going behind your back for an extended period. It's over. If the guy wanted a long term with her rather than just some sexual playtime you would be history. You are a home base. She showed you her real self, believe that. Earlier is always better. You do not want to be stuck with a family and reduced options with this person. Story 2. My ex had 10 affairs, with 9 of them with my co-workers, including my boss. To start, I am using a throwaway account because this is something that I don't want on my main profile. We were college sweethearts who got married right out of school, had a child, and lived a comfortable life. She worked for a large retail corporation's headquarters and I worked for myself. When I was nearly 30, I accepted a job at the same workplace as my wife, but we were in separate departments. Soon after I started, I started hearing rumors that my wife was having an affair with a senior exec, which I literally scoffed at because I knew that it had to be false. It had to be just petty jealousy of her success that was driving it because I trusted her without question. I was naive. Fast forward 13 years and I found myself beginning to question her loyalty to our marriage for the first time. The trigger that I recall being the most significant was that she was always on her phone, and that she would protect the screen from me if I were to walk past. She would just say that it was private. Without belaboring this further, I did finally get to the point where I had to know what was going on and she was not willing to discuss, so I took it upon myself to do some research. This was when I discovered, with 100% accuracy, that she was in the middle of her 10th affair of our 21-year marriage, with 9 of the men being people that I worked with on a daily basis. One long-term affair with my boss. I was floored, and completely broken. I proceeded to file for divorce, got through that painful process, and ultimately found and married my second wife. 
This is where it gets interesting. I have shared her with other men. Twice prior to getting married, and another time only a couple months ago. I know there will be plenty of people that will be disgusted. I understand that because I would have been right there with them, casting judgment, for most of my life. Somehow, I had become a person that I would have never expected. I very much enjoy my life and marriage, and fully expect for the sharing to continue. She gets to experience new men, and I love how it makes her happy. We have been doing this for 5 plus years at this point, with a 4 year hiatus due to COVID and other reasons. Bottom line, this is not a situation where it happened last week and we don't realize the implications. This situation, and our marriage, works. I do often find myself wondering whether being a cuckold, or whatever people would call this, is due to the adultery experiences of my first marriage. My belief is that it was a trigger, but curious to other thoughts. Dude listen. Difference is the first marriage was cheating, the second being an open relationship. This one is based on trust and the first was based on lies. She loves you and she chose you, though she may love other people she chose to spend her life with you. I'm sure in an open relationship you've slept with other people too. But your heart belongs to your current wife. Story 3. My ex cheated on me. My ex-partner cheated on me, and his title states I let it happen. My ex-partner is a serial cheater, she cheated on every single partner she'd ever had, or broke up with them so she could get with someone else. I fell hook line for her, you're the first person I've ever believed in love with, acting for a while there our relationship was going really well. A while into it, when we'd moved in together for over a year and everything went well, my partner at the time went to visit some friends. I thought nothing of it, I'm not the jealous nor suspicious type. I didn't hear from her all weekend, again, totally fine it's not something that concerns me. She met a new friend there, a guy. She went to visit him and stay at his house for weekends every now and again after this, I trusted her and I also take people on their word. If you decide to break that it isn't my problem. After a while of this we stopped sleeping together, not by design but we just slipped out of that connection a bit, partly because she wasn't around as much. I knew this guy definitely liked her but again, I demand transparency, respect and communication from my relationships so I presumed this was being met. Then I get the, I love you, text at half three in the morning. Many people are aware of that, the, I'm drunk I fucked someone else and I feel guilty so I'm going to declare love, one. I sensed this was a panicked one but just thought they might have been drunk and missed me. In reality I knew what was going on, it was obvious they were sleeping together and despite it only being admitted to once, I'm not foolish enough to believe it. One day they came home from these weekends and told me they wanted to break up, they went to stay with this person again and a few months later text me to tell me that they cheated on me before we split up. If I'm honest it has destroyed any semblance of self-love I ever had. Sorry bro, but you I knew what you were getting into when you started with her. You can't blame a shark for being a shark. She was a piece of shit to the core and you still let her into your life. And your home. WTF were you thinking? Story 4. Would you say he and she were playing around? So I started dating a girl let's say for a time scale start of November 2020, but had been hooking up few times previously before November, and we became official a week or two start of December after O decide to have that talk. I found out in early underscore mid-December she and my good friend had been hanging hanging out, just the two of them regularly times when she was doing her delivery job in the evenings and at her house. Now I must say my friend was living close to her home and he was renting a room in a pretty crap house, when the shower was working he had rang me and asked could he go to hers for shower. I was at hers at this time so she said yes that was okay and I myself didn't see a problem and everything was good. But at this time I did not know about anything the events of the party and this was before the started hanging out. From this point he had showered a few times and accompanied her on the delivery job. Now this is all well and good but the fact they both kept the friendship a secret and never told me. She later admitted her reason for this was she knew I would be not too keen about it amd would only cause more trouble. 
I found out by chance not from then when I rang her one night and just mentioned I would keep her company on her shift, as I had many times before if she picked me up to then hear his voice over the phone. So as I asked who was that everything came out. After some heated words from me etc myself and her did talk about it and how I was annoyed about it all and stated, how I felt about it all etc. Yes I probably should have walked away but I didn't and we spoke it out but I knew trust had been broken. Months later I had a feeling, something was off about the whole thing even do she never hung out with him again, nor did I really especially over this party which had happened end of October 2020, and even do she was single and so was I. I understand she was free to do whatever but where she and said friend, where it she had took ecstasy and as you know it makes you show more affection and became a bit flirty in a sense and had tried to kiss him. But I feel something more had happened than just a kiss as it changes from tried to kiss to a kiss and as details come I asked for she had been all over him, sitting on his lap. You get my drift the next day he had tried show me a message on his phone regarding details about her that night of the party but we were at dinner with the girl and her friend and I myself was hung over and not switched on enough to register it when I read it. That same day is when they decided not to tell me about happened as we went for drinks in our local. They both were outside smoking and hand spoken about the events and decided to not mention it to me. As I quote it was nothing and due to the MDMA that is when they became friendly and started hanging out. I understand we were not a couple early on when this happened but if he and she felt nothing they done was wrong, then why hide it regardless and especially knowing that it would cause problems as it did when I found out as I feel I was lied to by the people close to me. Brother, don't be like a kid. Protect yourself by setting the standard high for a partner. They should never need the benefit of the doubt. Never. There's too many trustworthy people to tolerate sketchy behavior. Plus if they lie or withhold information then they destroy trust. Their excuse is not relevant because they are now a liar. Finally, sneaking behind your back and alone together at home, assume they were having sex. Story 5. Relationship of 5 years and now she had an emotional affair. My girlfriend J, 20F, betrayed me, 19M, the summer before we moved in together. Throughout the summer of 2022, she made a friend I'll call E who was her co-worker at her summer job. They hung out alone together multiple times outside of work and I had complete faith that nothing was happening outside of my knowledge. When we moved into our condo out of state in August the first started to have an unexplainable bad feeling and over the course of the month that led to me breaking and checking her phone. This was the first time I had done this in our relationship and I never wanted to be the type of boyfriend that felt the need to do so. What I found confirmed all of my worst suspicions. I had the first panic attack of my life. All of the messages between E and J were on Snapchat meaning that I was only able to read the most recent 24 hours of conversation. In this conversation I saw good morning and good night texts, flirting, bikini photos being sent individually sexual messages, evidence that she had been calling him daily without my knowledge, and worst of all telling this boy she had known for two to three months that she loved him multiple times across the day. She had been drinking heavily that night and was passed out as I was reading all of these messages. I immediately woke her up and confronted her about it, and it was probably the most explosive argument I've ever been a part of. She denied everything, told me I was overreacting, and claimed that all it was was texting and that she just didn't set boundaries with him. She refused to cut contact at first, but eventually did block him after I convinced her that it was the right thing to do if there was ever a chance of reconciliation. She claimed that despite everything she didn't want to lose her, friend. I felt that I was still being lied to about important things and the next morning I ended up in contact with E. I told him that he owed it to me to explain the sequence of events and the details of their relationship. I discovered from E that during their solo hangouts, she had allowed him to feel her up, kiss her neck and body, and just generally get as close to kissing without actually doing it. The messages I read and the behavior he was describing hurt, but also made me feel a visceral cringe. It reminded me of how I was when I was 12 to 13 years old having my first sexual interactions. The evidence he provided was the cherry on top, her bra that was left in his car. 
A key aspect that had caused me to grow suspicious was the fact that she was wearing a men's hat around that I had never seen before. It was ease, when I told her that I found that weird she essentially gaslit me into thinking that it was just a hat she asked if she could have and that it was no big deal. Looking back, I understand that she took the hat on the same day she left her bra in his car or around the same time. I learned that on one occasion that she told me she was going to clean her car, she had met up with E and allowed him to once again push the physical boundaries of our relationship. I brought up these things I had discovered in the form of general questions, and caught her in lie after lie after lie. It took me the entire day to get her to fess up and corroborate what E was describing to me. Not much occurred between September and December, but over winter break Jay discovered a picture of E on her younger sister's iPad. We were both concerned and discovered that it appeared that she was in a relationship with E and was posting text messages, date descriptions, and sexual encounters on Twitter. Obviously we were both concerned and I gave Jay the okay to directly call and ask E about it. She discovered that it was all fabricated on her sister's end and that nothing really could come of it. In late January Jay came to me and described that she felt there was a weight on her shoulders and that it didn't feel like we could ever move on if she was required to have him blocked on everything. In the interest of avoiding trouble and being open to her needs I told her I was comfortable with that as five months had gone by since they'd been in regular contact. This led to a conversation about two weeks later. She described that the only way she could feel normal is if she was able to try and attempt a genuine friendship with E. I was hesitant but agreed with a few stipulations. She offered that she would be okay with me eventually exploring other girls while maintaining our relationship. I expressed that I didn't want that and that I had no desire to do so. About a week after this conversation I noticed her exhibiting secretive behavior again and behaving weirdly with her phone. I discovered that since she had asked to be friends again she had been in daily and constant communication. I expressed that I felt uncomfortable and I would rather continue our relationship without him involved. She reacted with anger and treated me as if I was being unreasonable. One of the stipulations that I had set was that if I ever expressed that I was uncomfortable that she would cut contact no questions asked. She refused and that's where I stand now. What the hell do I do? We've been together since I was 14 and she was 15, moved in together 2000 miles away from home, and are both deep up each other asses professionally and socially. Buddy, I wanna say this to you. She failed the wife test buddy, sorry. Any more time spent on her is a lost cause. Be lucky you aren't married. At least that's a silver lining. Never split your GF attention with other men. If she is driven for that type of attention, she is not wife material in the first place. I got angry for you when you said, she didn't want to lose a friend, but she is okay to lose you. Fuck her. That's bullshit. Open relationships work great for the average woman, they can pick up dudes anywhere. Guys, only the top 1% can really pull. The only reason it is on the table, is so she can continue to be with him. Don't be a doormat, if she doesn't want to join you, she needs to go back to the street, where she belongs. I probably would have already sent her. You know exactly what to do, it's just going to be hard. That's all for today's story. Thank you for watching and being a part of our community. If you have a story to share or want to offer support to someone in need, please feel free to leave a comment below. Remember, no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest stories. Until next time, take care and stay strong.